Right, so now we're going to look on the format check and I'm going to do phone number in my database just so we have a general idea of how this works. I'm going to stick to the UK phone number system which is typically 11 numbers I would say starting like 078 or 079. Now if you put plus, uh, plus 44 or you just put 44 that's going to obviously add extra digits but I'm going to stick to the 11 for now. You simply need to read your specification on the exam paper and it should tell you what you need. So let's go to my database. I'm going to open up the customer table. I'm going to go to design view. I'm going to go down to phone number and where it says format, I'm going to leave that alone. I've already set my field size as 11 so it shouldn't go past that. I'm going to click into where it says input mask and I'm going to go over to the thing here on the right with the three dots which I think is options or menu. Click on that, it's going to come up with this window here and I'm simply going to choose phone number. Now we can do the same for postcode, passwords, date and time, so on and so forth. We have quite a few things on the list but I think the common ones are going to be phone number and postcode. I don't think I've seen anything else but if you do see something else like short date or long date, uh, short time or long time, you can always come in here and edit this. I'm going to stick to phone number, right? I'm going to double click on phone number to edit it. And in here, um, let's see how many numbers we have. So that first one, that first nine is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So I know I need to get rid of one. So I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. That gets rid of one. Oh, let's clear that space up. Anyways, let me, let me just type the whole thing out. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That should be it. Now, when I've typed in my 11 digits here, I'm simply going to come down here and actually I can test it straight away without having to go to my database. So 079-395-00123, right? That gives me my 11 numbers. Perfect. It works perfectly fine. I'm going to go to next. And from here, I like to choose without the symbols in the mask. So if you chose with symbols in the mask, you would get the brackets, you would get the may maybe the plus signs as well. But let's just choose without symbols. Now, I did not have symbols, so mine doesn't show up. But if yours does have symbols, choose without the symbols in the mask. Click next and then click finish. See, this is what it adds here. Now, this is something you would have to memorize by yourself if you weren't sure. But with that option I just showed you, it does everything for you. You can test it without even coming back to your database. Now, when I go back to view, it's going to ask if I want to save it. I'm going to select the yes. I'm going to go straight to phone number just to test it, right? Let's see if I can drag this out. I think it's going to give me an error. No, no errors. Let's go back to the very first thing. Uh, 0793950123. And I'm typing again, as you guys can hear that sound. I'm typing, nothing is typing. So that tells me my, I've, I've captured my phone number in the correct format because it's numbers, number one. 0909 means numbers. It's also 11, I guess, characters are 11 numbers long. So I can never go beyond that. So the typical UK phone number, landline and mobile, is going to be 11 numbers long. And that's how you do a, um, a format check on a phone number.